Hello guys, welcome to my channel and in this video I would show you how you can install EVNG into a Windows 10 laptop using the VMware Workstation. So first of all you need to download the OVA file from the EVNG website, go to the download section and download the free EVNG community edition from these two links. Right? And once you have downloaded the OVA as I have downloaded already into my machine can see it's here uh, then you need to double click on this uh, file and this will pop up into your air workstation here you can change the name I will keep it as EVENG test EVA test and then I will not change the uh, location where the files will be stored you can change it from here and then select on import so I'll keep it as to as I think I have uh, one with the same name or I can go and delete that one. Yeah, I have this one, so I'll delete this one from the folder and then I can keep it as EVNG test. So now this is getting imported. So till the time this is getting imported, uh, uh, second thing I want you to do is I want you to have this software called Venus CP, or you can use any other software that will work for you. Like it's uh, another one would be FileZilla and with the help of the software you can log into the EVNG file system because uh, once you have installed this EVNG you will need to add the devices for that you need to uh, copy the f uh, iOS files into the EVNG file system right for that you need uh, some software like NSCP files and all that and second thing I want to show you is the uh, IP address that my system is having in my LAN uh, I'm connected through my Wi-Fi and that is the 192.168.1.5 and my gateway is 192.168.1.1 So this I'll require for the configuration of my management IP I would uh, configure uh, the management IP in the same range For that uh, first of all I will do uh, the, uh, the uh, settings uh, so that one, first adapter is the management interface second is used for the network node which you will uh, use uh, in future labs wherein you have to connect the devices like the router the firewall all the devices to the internet to the real internet so this should be kept as bridged and management for now I'll keep it uh, keep it as bridged uh, to connect to the uh, uh, GUI of the uh, EVNG machine so processors I would I recommend you to, to use two processors cores per uh, sorry four processor and two cores per processor and uh, this should be enabled if you are not able to see this you need to enable the VTX from your bio setting as well and then check on this VTX enabled after that click OK and then power on the virtual machine once the uh, virtual machine powers up the first time it will uh, prompt you with a wizard wherein you have to configure the management IP address and the gateway and the DNS address and all so let's wait for the wizard to come up and we will just uh, I will just guide you through the configuration wizard so yeah so here you need to log in with the uh, username as root and the password as eve for the cli it's root and eve password for the gui it's admin and eve so here you can change the password or you can keep the same i'll keep the same eve eve uh, don't worry it will not show up but it is there hit enter then short name i will not change dns domain name i don't require here you can go with dhcp but the problem is when when you change your network or you uh, reboot your system the IP address will keep on changing uh, because it will be given from the DHCP server that would be most probably your router and I will keep it as static so once you change the selection with the down arrow uh, press the space bar and then hit enter so it's asking for the management IP address I will keep it as 120 and the subnet mask as slash 24 and this gateway is 101 DNS is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. this will help me to resolve the uh, URLs right so NTP I don't require and then on the direct connection I'll hit enter so I uh, will wait for this to reload with the new management IP and for the time being I'll try to ping the 
management IP address of 192.168.1.120 so once this is up we can go on and access the GUI of EVNG so this is up and I will go to the browser and type in the IP address of 192.168.1.120 uh, okay 120 is here and I will hit enter let's wait for the GUI to come up yeah so here we will uh, use the username as admin and the password is EVE <coughs> and the GUI should come up yeah so this is the management uh, dashboard for your EVNG here you can add labs uh, edit the names move your labs from one folder to another delete your labs import export and toggle the order so here I'll click uh, this uh, new lab and I'll keep it as test and save so this is the working area for your EVNG here you can add a node by right clicking node network and all those stuff right so if you hit, hit, select node uh, this is a fresh install and you will not find any devices as of now because you have to add all those devices one by one and for uh, for the procedure on how to adding all the devices you can watch my other videos so guys this is how you uh, install the EV engine in Windows 10 and this is the network segment network uh, node so for this you have to keep as management cloud this will take the uh, connection from your management which is bridge to the internet right to the real world internet and for this you have to keep the second interface as bridged or as well saved so this will act as your internet cloud and then you can connect uh, whatever devices you want in your lab to the real internet so <coughs> this is how you install EVNG and second thing is I want to show you how to change uh, the uh, bridge, uh, bridged uh, settings right so if you don't want to bridge it if you don't want to bridge the uh, management IP address you can use a local VMnet right so I uh, say for example I'll use the VMnet 7 I'll connect VMnet 7 here and hit enter and I'll go to this root and EVE so my uh, management IP is 192.168.1.120 so in this case I have to go to my uh, adapter settings that is ncpa.cpl in your run this command hit enter and this will open up your adapter settings and here in your VMnet 7 you need to enable for you if it's any other VMnet that you want to use you, you that should be enabled right so you can go to the status and check if there is any IP address already assigned so mine is 1.33 so my is already set up so you can change it to any IP address in the same range uh, which is your uh, management you can have any IP address whether it be 10 series where it be 172 series right so here you can change it and also on the management side you have to change it and uh, after you have kept the VMnet 7 of your computer and the IP address of your management uh, in the same subnet as well the settings for the adapter here as VMnet 7 your system should be able to ping uh, the management of EVNG so I'll just like to show you one thing that if I disable this uh, VM7 I'll lose connectivity to my EVNG because now it's connected through my VM net because I've not breached it right so if I ping it from here it will not work unless and until I will enable this VM7 so you can see once I enable this will start working let's try once again yeah it's working and then I can go to the uh, GUI also with the same IP address that is 120 right 192.168.1.120 1 and see I am inside my GUI of the image 
so guys thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and please do uh, watch my other videos where I uh, am uh, I'll be showing you how to install other devices like the Cisco devices and the firewalls thank you guys thanks for watching my videos take care bye bye